Hey everyone, it's Libby from Meister Tarot. I'd like to acknowledge the Natika Winono First Nations people and welcome to you, your guide, you, your guides, my guides and the universal energies. Entertainment only. I uh, just need to remind that I do have it in my little blurb underneath, but I sometimes forget to say it because I didn't bring my little card with me. So welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, yeah, and I'm just looking at my haircut here, very rem reminiscent of uh, COVID lockdown. I'll get that trimmed when I get back home home in around two weeks' time. Uh, so what I want to have a quick look at, uh, well, first of all, a couple of clarifiers. When I was doing my Middle East ceasefire uh, um, uh, reading yesterday, yes, of course, duh, it's Netanyahu, uh, the Kremlin and Trump are the three the three behind the scenes, uh, remembering that Netanyahu visited Trump several times at Mar-a-Lago without necessarily visiting uh, the actual government in the US. Um, and uh, yeah, they're all they're all linked, uh, playing together. Okay, I also uh, want to just say that the Israeli government has approved the ceasefire with caveats or caveats, depending on where you are in the world. Uh, and the caveat is basically if Hezbollah violates the agreement. Well, that's pretty vague. So uh, I just don't feel the, the ceasefire holding while uh, Netanyahu is um, in office or the head of government in Israel uh, because it's not to his advantage. Okay. But what I want to have a look at is the International Criminal Court, the ICC, uh, issued, uh, I believe, last week uh, a warrant for the arrest of Netanyahu if he leaves Israel. The US are not playing ball in regards to that. Come on, guys. Um, and I just want to have a look at it. I just get a feeling it uh, the issue of the warrant um, is somehow connected with the timing of uh, the Trump election, the stolen election, I'll just put it that way. So entertainment only. Yeah. Hmm. So what I want to have a look at. Okay. Deep breaths. Come on, guys. The ICC warrant. <clears throat> Show me Netanyahu with the ICC warrant. I've seen for a while now that, um, actually I've seen, I read way back at the start uh, when there was the supposed attack over the Israeli border uh, to take the hostages uh, that it was very much Netanyahu Kremlin uh, remembering that the Kremlin has uh, claws in uh, Africa. Okay, right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I was uh, given a hit last night when I was in the shower brushing my teeth, as usual, uh, and then when the, by the time I got out of the shower, I couldn't remember what it is, but I've just remembered what it is, was that uh, that hit was uh, in conjunction with uh, Russian or Kremlin mercenaries. Uh, there was reports that there were uh, those that spoke Russian, there were those that were of uh, African appearance, um, so it wasn't uh, necessarily Hamas or just Hamas. There was more involved than Hamas. So I have been getting that that's going to come out. It's going to be hmm, very unpleasant when it does, but let's have a look. Show me, show me, show me is, show me the arrest warrant with the International Crimes, International Criminal Court. Remembering this is the criminal court that, uh, hunted down uh, those involved in the uh, Nazi concentration camps and uh, gas chambers, etc., 30, 40, 50, 60 years after the event and held them accountable. They do not sleep. <laughs> okay, come on down, let's have a look. How's this going relating to Netanyahu? Okay. Well, he's going to try and defend himself against it. Obviously, with the signifier here, uh, I think he's on the end of a losing battle, though. Here's the International Criminal Court. Here's the challenge to him as the international. He's going to be in denial, defiance, you name it, the International Criminal Court there. At the foundation, we've got the hidden agenda that will be revealed. So I'm really, I'm really feeling that what is going to come out is this Oh, gosh, it's so intertwined. I keep saying it's like an old-fashioned police uh, 
investigation board with pink string on it, but you literally cannot see the board due to the string linking everything together, uh, due to the red string linking everything together. It's interesting that it's red string that I see as well, Russia, MAGA, etc. Um, because I do feel all these characters on this level are interlinked. So we've got the hidden agenda being revealed at the base there. Oh, look at these major arcana. In the past, the new start or the foolishness itself in the past, the foolishness of the action taken. So, okay, thank you. I'm getting, um, yeah, they're telling me it's foolishness of action taken. Um, of this, of what happened oh, just over a year ago. Yeah, here's the prosecution. So I'm asking about Netanyahu with the International Criminal Court. Prosecution. It's my Jack Smith, Alex Whiting card. I'll just bring you down ever so slightly. And yeah, uh, he's going to be, I haven't seen Netanyahu being taken out um, I do see there may be an attempt and someone close to him might be taken out, but him himself, I keep seeing that he'll be plucked out. So, yeah, he he's going to be held accountable for, cr for crimes uh, externally. The two of cups working together, working together with somebody else. Who is he working together with? Or is this the International Criminal Court working with others? Okay, let's see where this goes. Internally, a lot of headlines coming out really soon. All this information feels like it's just imminent. Working together, a lot of headlines coming out soon about the hopes and fears. Is It's, it's about this... Um, the ter infighting, or the well, I'm going to say the conflict, the conflict where it's very ego based. So there's a lot of mess, Im information going to come out about the hidden agenda of these conflicts, and the conflicts are ego based. If you have a look at this card, it's they're all teenagers, uh, so they're not emotionally mature. They but every single one of them is fighting every single other one of them. There's no sort of us versus them. It's it's very much ego-based to try and get to the top. Okay. How's it going to affect Netanyahu? He's going to find himself. Now, a lot of readers have this as the victory card. However, I always point out that the person sitting on the horse does not look comfortable and they do not look happy. It's like it's... Uh, this uh, it's it's like they're riding in theoretically as a winner, but it's a very uncomfortable position. So Netanyahu's come out, I believe, and has uh, already spouted uh, the supposed Israeli win against um, against uh, Lebanon, and that they now plan to turn their attention towards Iraq. Oh my goodness, you know. Really, do you really want to go there? Um, yeah, but it's a very uncomfortable position that is not supported. Okay, so let's keep going. Oh, very not supported because it is based in this energy, uh, this abuse of power, this win at any cost, this this betrayal, treason, stealing. However, it's. Moral, financial, ethical corruption, finding himself out in the cold. And there is, I did actually start a reading on the International Criminal Court and my brain just went somewhere else. Um, it just switched off basically telling me I was doing the wrong reading. But this was the signifier I pulled on that reading. Page of Swords, the determination to to bring forward this justice and then we've got the tower card for Netanyahu on the base. The best of democracy, hope and healing. So how's it going to go for Netanyahu? I don't think it's going to go very well and I think we're going to hear something shortly. He's going to find himself up again facing the prosecutor uh, and under arrest, I just 
just keep seeing him getting plucked out under arrest. Okay, I want to have a look at this and how it relates to Trump because Trump, I mean, goodness me, people in the US and other countries are going, uh, uh, are surprised at, at um, what Trump's saying about the Israeli Gaza conflict and the Ukraine Russia conflict. I don't understand why they're surprised. He's been saying what he's been saying for the last four years uh, on the international stage. If you join the dots, if you have a bit of critical thinking, if you actually listen to what he said, nothing of what he's doing at the moment is a surprise. Um, okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. The International Criminal Court in regards to Trump. Let's have a look. What do we need to know about the International Criminal, criminal Court in regards to Trump? Now that they've issued this arrest, the climbing, there's something about, oh, that one wanted to come out. Oh, okay. The, the manipulation of the election via international, by overseas. Now, on that too, as I'm yapping away while you can watching me shuffle, um, Apparently, with the Romanian election, uh, the Starlink uh, satellite system went live the day that, let me flip back a page, the day that uh, Kalen Georgescu announced that he was going to run for, uh, for the presidential position. This is the guy that's extremely far right, pro-Russia and no party affiliation. Let me put another piece of string on that cork board. Okay, let's have a look. Come on down. The International Criminal Committee, crime, criminal courts in regards to Trump. Well, we've got the election manipulation here, the flipping of the votes via overseas. There they are again. Yeah. So, Jack Smith going back to The Hague. Don't be alarmed by that. Oh, what's on the bottom there? Loss, disappointment, heartbreak, having something stripped away from him. Okay, the International Criminal Court in regards to Trump, the foundation here, uh, eight of wands, it's about a lot of information coming out, surrendering to the, presenting the information here. The International Criminal Court presenting the messaging. In the past, we've got page of pentacles. Now, when I'm talking about elections, pentacles to me are the votes. So, and pages are about bringing forward information. So, I'd say the International Criminal Court already have the information about the very uncomfortable victory. And I'll use, oh, I'm drawn to the red flag in the foreground there. I'm not quite sure what the triangle stands for, but I'm drawn to the red flag in the foreground. The, and this dude, red cape, red saddle cloth, red and purple flag. The very uncomfortable election victory in the immediate future, restoring balance, removing the toxicity externally. Be careful what you wish for. Internally, celebration, circles of support, a lot of emotions here. I'm asking about Trump and the International Criminal Court. I think they've got him. I think they have him. Hopes and fears, mercenary actions or, or steady movement forward. Here's Trump himself. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Trump in a nightmare situation. Um, now, I yes, I know the ambulance was at Ma'alago the day before uh, Ruta, the NATO Secretary General, visited Trump 
it was during it was the day that the secretary the NATO secretary general was visiting Biden. So I cannot help but but keep feeling that those events are connected. And I don't know, has Trump been seen in public since? I don't think he has. Um, yeah, nightmare situation for him as the information comes forward. He's going to reap what he had sowed in regards to the election. His basket is empty. There's harsh truth coming for him. And we've got the significant ending, well, an ending and a beginning. If I look on the bottom, the Eight of Cups, loss, disappointment, heartbreak in regards to the steel. We've got the emperor. We've got the devil. We've got the working together. We've got the, the best of democracy coming forward in regards to the hidden agenda and full illumination, forced to retreat and Paris. I can't. I know some readers are backing off the that, that Harris won, that it's going to sort itself out. But the cards I get every single time point to point the other way. Um, as um, that that Trump's not going to get get into office. Vance is not going to get into office. I keep getting that the entire election is going to be. If I say tossed out, I don't know how they'll do that. Would they hold another election? But I just get the, I just get, they're saying to me, tossed out. Um, Denise Knight over at Denise Knight Divination is picking up that uh, Biden will enact the, um, I'm going to use my shorthand because I can't remember the actual wording of it, but the Wars Act. Uh, that will mean that he is uh, stays in office and stays in control. I, I just I can't go against what my cards and what my guides are, keep saying. Okay, love to you all. Stay safe. Let's see how it plays out. Take care. Bye bye.